I'll keep it quick because I know it's late. You guys got crazy uh, deadlines out there, and then you can ask questions. Um, obviously, overall, I thought we did uh, play really well in the first half, both ends of the floor. Second half, we didn't rebound it real well. Um, give them credit. I thought they were really aggressive on the backboard. The thing I liked was the fact we didn't shoot the ball as well in the second half and still defended. You know, I've been on them about mental toughness and defending for a full 40 minutes, and I thought that was as close as, you know, uh, maybe that we have. With these, I thought we had exceptional energy uh, and effort contributions from a lot of different guys. You know, I, I think that, uh, you know, it probably won't be written that way, but I thought that was one of Hill's best performances he's had in his entire career at the University of Illinois. Um, his efficiency on the offensive end is three assists, is two steals, is six rebounds, and the amount of energy and effort he exerted on the defensive end guarding Peter Jock I thought was tremendous. Um, you know, I thought he really, really you know, gave a lot of energy there. And obviously had great help from his teammates in defending him. Kipper did a good job on him as well. In the 32 minutes that Jock played, those two guys defended him quite a bit. And uh, it takes a lot of energy to do that because he's such a terrific scorer. He's a different type of scorer because he's constantly moving. And um, so I thought those guys did some good things. thought uh, we had 18 assists, 26 field goals. You know, obviously the ball moved, had a good rhythm there, had some synergy. But you know, at the end of the day, it's one game, and we've got two days to prepare for another one on Saturday. Questions? John, obviously you needed a better start than you've had. You go with T. John Lucas. How'd you come to that decision? And is that something you want to keep doing? Um, yeah, yeah, moving forward. Um, but I kind of had it in my gut. You know, I have my weekly meeting. You know, Trace and I meet. All of, I meet with all the guys as well. But he and I met on Thursday. We talked about it. Obviously, what we could do to try to help our team, um, as well as try to get him jump started a little bit. And um, you know, something like that doesn't happen unless your leader, like he is, like, you know, has a mindset uh, like that. Tonight he made a bonehead play and said, you should take me out for that. Let me get, you know, he just, he, he's, he's really caught up in the team. I mean, he really is. So he and I talked a lot about it. Um, the goal was to, uh, one thing I said, I know he had some foul trouble start games. I said, the good thing is you won't have fouls uh, when you go in. So that'll be a good thing. We won't have to worry about that. And, you know, keep it simple and uh, see if we can get you jump started a little bit. If he plays better, our team will play better. And at the same time, I thought the rhythm that we have been playing with with Lucas, not only Lucas, but also with Tate at that position, have been good. And uh, so we had talked on, on Thursday and, and, and kind of knew we were going to move, uh, you know, move in that direction. And obviously tonight I thought those guys did a good job. But again, it's one game and they got to continue to practice well and uh, build off of today and, and uh, you know do it again on Saturday. Tijan obviously just he keeps improving you know with experience and getting the practice time and things. What areas do you think he's made the most strides in? Defensively. Yeah defensively it's not even close. I mean he's really I think he's got where he's I don't say this about freshmen very often but he's He's good defensively right now when he's really locked in, not only on the ball, but his positioning and IQ off the ball, what he sees, and, you know, he's and defensively is probably the biggest thing from where he started uh, on October the 3rd. I think he'd been good in smaller doses the last few games. Was this maybe he didn't need to see more opportunities and see if you could keep that up? Yeah, I think he just kind of, Michael, I said this downstairs, he's just playing the game the right way. This is, he just got a pure heart right now, pure mind, you know, loves his teammates, claps for other guys and gets excited when they do well and just plays. Plays it the right way. If he's open, he shoots. If he doesn't, he passes and goes to the offensive glass darn near about every time and he's going to compete and, you know, he's going to play for Illinois and, He's playing right now with a very pure heart and pure mind. And when you do that, you tend to play really, really well. So he's he's played well for some time now. And hopefully he will continue. We to get off to a 10-0 run to start the game. Any thought to keep in that group out there and see if you know, what they could do with that? Or? Oh, sure. You know, we'll take a look at it, continue to evaluate. I like what I saw today. and We've got a couple of days of practice leading into Saturday. And, you know, we'll look at all those.
those things, uh, not only statistically from plus minus to offensive and defensive efficiency within certain groups and all that, and take a look at it, see if we need to make any changes or if we go the same route, and you know, uh, whatever whatever we need to do to continue to make our team better. To your left. Coach, no two games obviously are ever the same. Every, every game is different. What are you seeing from the way they, your team plays on the road to at home? Because even, even though the loss of Maryland still played better at home than you have been on the road, clearly. But what are you seeing differently from the road versus home for your team? Um, well, we played better today. That's a big part of it. You know, they've been a little bit different. We've talked about that. We had 17 turnovers the other day. It led to 22 points. I mean, that's uh, you know, I'm probably not going to overcome that most nights. You know, I think each game's been a little bit different. Uh, you know, we've got to, you know, go out with the same mindset, and same energy level that we had today uh, on Saturday. You know, regardless of where the, going to be unconditional, regardless of where the game's at. So that's a step that uh, we need to take, and, you know, we'll be excited uh, for the opportunity we have on Saturday. Shannon? Just how important was uh, that start to the game? No, I thought it was huge. I think start and finishes are always important, Shannon, not only the, uh, the game, but also the halves. Yeah, I, thought it was, I thought it was good. Got us off to a good rhythm, good energy level. But, uh, yeah, I told them downstairs that you guys played like you practiced yesterday in particular. I thought we were you know, maybe one of our best practices of the year. You know, it doesn't correlate all the time, but a lot of times it does. You know, we just had a good disposition yesterday. We were loud. We had great energy. We were, you know, really connected. We kept talking about that in timeouts, continuing to stay connected regardless of whether we uh, airball a dunk. It was interesting. Uh, miss a couple layups. Um, blow a couple defensive assignments. We did that. Believe me, we got we got to get a lot better in some areas, but. But I thought we played through those things, Shannon, with a little bit more mental toughness and a little bit more, you know, uh, connectedness there, which was, you know, obviously uh, headed in the right direction there. Sure. Just with that being said, in just 10 regular season, big 10 games left, is, does that encourage you? Is this something you can harness? I know it's hard to say. Yeah, sure, hope so, but every game's different. You know, the gentleman said that there earlier. It is. Um, you know, you gotta, you got to prepare and get ready for Saturday. Every, game, every game's different. They're all different, you know. And um, just because we did certain things well today, we've got to have the right mindset in the next couple of days, a great will to prepare and um, to win, and, and then be ready to go on Saturday. Anything else? Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys.